Right in the heart of Western Sydney, a plan for one of the biggest garbage incinerators in the world is a breath away from being approved. It's ridiculous to actually even consider putting this in a residential area. Two smokestacks 100 metres tall at Eastern Creek, emitting fumes from burning plastics, wood, garbage and metals. The proposal to burn one million tonnes of it a year. It's, it's very scary when you look at what, what's being proposed and what we're expected to live with out this way. Waste disposal company Dialer Dump is behind it. Their site on Honeycomb Drive is only 800 metres from homes at Minchinbury and close to Erskine Park, St Clair, Collerton, Mount Druitt, Rudy Hill, Blacktown and Penrith. Plus, just five kilometres away is Prospect Reservoir, which stores drinking water. The, the company has acknowledged that there will be toxins that will be coming out of the, uh, the furnace. So essentially there's no guarantees and hence why people are worried. The incinerator is what they call waste to energy. The burning garbage produces what the company says is greener electricity, which is sold back into the grid. Burning a million tonnes of rubbish a year is a toxic nightmare and to do it in the heart of Western Sydney is just plain stupid. The Western Sydney Health District had its concerns too, saying in a 2015 submission it could represent a significant risk to health for the people of Greater Western Sydney. I certainly don't want to breathe it and take the risk. The government needs to represent the people and realise the people of Western Sydney are not an easy target. Chris O'Keefe is live for us at Eastern Creek tonight. Chris, what has the company had to say about all of this? Well, Peter, they say an independent assessment has indicated that there will be no discernible health risks whatsoever. They are confident that the technology in this plant will be able to filter out most of the bad toxins. Now, this is the same technology that is currently being used in around 400 very similar plants that are currently operating around Europe. Now, if you do want to have your say on this proposal, submissions do shut in the middle of next week, Peter. It will then be up to the planning minister or a planning panel to decide if it gets built. Nine News, Sydney's number one.